Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you an easy tutorial on how to get PSN games for PS3 installed onto your RPCS3 emulator. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the first link in the description. And it's going to take us to archive.org and we are going to want to get PSN stuff 3.07 with updated database 2021.zip. What I like to do is right click on the file, save link as, and save it directly to my desktop. Now I already have it there, but you would hit save. While we're here in our browser, we're going to go to the second link in the description. And this is for the RPCS3 emulator. So this tutorial is for Windows. We're going to scroll down on the download button. Same thing. We'll right click, save link as. And you would download this to your desktop. I already have it, so I'm just going to hit cancel, but you would hit save. Last thing we're going to need is the PS3 system software update, which is the firmware for the PS3. So we'll scroll down and it'll say how to update PS3 console system software. So we're going to want to update using a computer. So click that. And on the download PS3 update, we're going to right click once more save link as and then I already have the file on my desktop but we're going to save it to our desktop so you would hit save I'll close that out so next up we're going to go to our PSN stuff zip folder right click 7-zip extract here and with the RPCS3 file is a 7-zip file we're going to right click 7-zip, extract to, instead of extract here. And then we have our PS3updat.pup. I am going to drag this and move it into my RPCS3 folder, just like that. So now we have our RPCS3 folder and our PSN stuff folder. So what you want to do first is open up your RPCS3 folder open up rps3.exe. Sorry, I misspoke. I always put, I have read the startup guide, do not show again, continue. First thing we want to do here is it's telling us the updater says we're up to date. That's great. We're going to go to file, install firmware, and then just scroll down. It should take you right into your rpcs3 folder. Scroll down. PS3 updat.pup, one left click, open. So it's installing our firmware for us. I am going to put don't show again. I'll check that box, hit OK. Now it's going to take some time, so once it's done installing, I'll be back. Okay, so now that my firmware is installed, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Everything seems good to go here. So from here, you can click Config, and if you want to change anything, it's completely up to you, whatever settings you like. You know, your renderer, you can go from Vulkan to OpenGL. Um, I'm going to stick with Vulkan on this one, and then I'm just going to click Close. But we're going to shut down RPCS3 temporarily, and I'm going to show you guys how to get your PSN games DLC as well as unlock trial games. So here we are back on our desktop, and this time we're going to go into our PSN stuff folder. And in here we have two zipped up archives, so one's a .zip, one's a .rar. First thing I like to do is take my database.rar, right click, 7-zip, extract here. Now you're going to have a file with no extension, and that's how we're going to leave it, but we do want to rename it. So let's right click, rename, and just name it database just like so hit enter then we're going to take our psn stuff dot zip right click 7 zip extract here all right now what we'll do i'm on a 64-bit windows so i'm going to open the x64 version they also have a 32-bit version as well so let's open it up okay so here we are in the psn stuff 
program. Uh, it's actually PSN Stuff X, and it's by Slim Shady 451 So the, I'm going to show you two types of games. We're going to focus on the PSN games, as well as the C00 games. But let's start with PSN. So I'm going to go and change my region settings. What I like to do is click region, one time shows all, and you go on down, or I click it and now I'm in North America, which is where I'm from. So I'm going to stick with the US version. So 1942 Joint Strike. If I double click this, down here you can see now it's populated the size of the game. Now the first thing I like to do on PSN games is I want to click Save Wrap. Nice and easy. Okay. Then we're going to hit Download Package. And that's going to download the game for us. Shouldn't take long at all. It's a small game. There we go. We'll hit OK. Do you want to validate the package? You don't have to. I'll say yes because it's a small file. Boom. Validated. So now let's minimize, minimize, and now we're focused on PSN games right now, but we're going to open up RPCS3, our folder, and then we're going to open up the emulator. Okay, so here we are in our emulator, and the first thing we're going to want to do is go to File, Install Packages, slash Wraps, slash EDATS, left click. Then we're going to go into our PSN stuff folder, into the downloads folder, and there's our game. We'll left click, hit open. Do you want to install this package? Yes, we do. I'm just going to go to OK. And now I can double click on the game. And it's going to say booting failed, basically because we did not install the wrap file that we downloaded previously. So we'll hit OK. We'll go to file. Install Packages Wraps EDATS. Let's go up a folder. And now we'll go into the EX data, which is where our wrap files will be. There it is, 1942. Hit Open. Now let's try that game one more time. Perfect. So it's going to launch up and create all of its caches and things like that. But that's how we would do a PSN game from PSN stuff. So let's go ahead and do a C00 game. Okay, so we're back in our PSN stuff app and we're gonna change our filter to C00. Now with this, there's a whole bunch of games. One I'll focus on here. I'm gonna search and just do Marvel and we have Marvel vs. Capcom 2 US. And that's the one I'm gonna get. So I'll double click it it's 198 megabytes. I'll hit download package. Now something I want to show you for the C00 games, you may have updates. So we are NPUB 30068. So let's go to game updater. There is NPUB 30068. It usually populates the game you've selected. We'll hit search. And there we are. We do have an update. So we downloaded our initial package. I'm not going to validate here is an update. So we'll left click on the update and we will hit download. Now for these C00 files, instead of a wrap file to unlock the game, we're going to need an EDAT file. So if you were to create an EDAT, that is based on our initial game that we've downloaded, which would be from here, it would unlock this version of the game. But since we did a game update, that's the package file we're gonna to wanna to focus on. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So basically we're gonna to go to tools and we're gonna come down to create C00 EDAT. So we're gonna hit get CID from package and let's go up now we have an update folder. This is the package we want to use. So we're going to click update. 
open. Now we know this is MVC2. We're going to hit create. Done. It's created in the EDATS folder. We'll hit OK. Minimize. Now we're going to go and open RPCS3 again. And we're going to go to File, Install Packages, and let's go to our Downloads folder and do our Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Hit Open. This is going to ask if we want to install it. Yes, we do. This is version 1.00. I'm going to hit OK. Now it's telling us if we widen version here, there is an update available. So we're going to go to File, Install Packages. Let's go back a folder and go to our Update folder and install our update. Open. Do you want to install it? Yes. Hit OK. Now let's go ahead and open the game before we install our EDAT file and I can show you the differences. So I'm here on the main menu of the game and you can see now I have to unlock full game, which I cannot do from here. So let me shut this game down. And this, this time around, what we're going to do is File, Install Packages, Wraps, EDATS. We're going to go up a folder since we, up, we updated, but let's go to our EDATS and install our MVC2 purchase EDAT file. Hit Open. And now I'll relaunch the game back to the main menu where I was. So here we are. I'll hit Enter. And now we got the whole game. So everything is unlocked now, just by creating that EDAT file. So let's exit out. Close. Yes. And then let's go back to our PSN stuff. So back in the PSN stuff app, there is so much you can do with this. Um, you can do your updates. You can create your EDATs for your C00 games, and there are quite a few. I mean, when we go to content, and let's just filter to C00, hit our region as I normally do, but there's 640 entries. It's such a great tool. There's other things that I have not messed with yet. There's DLCs, PSP, PS1, PS2, more demos. There is e unlock EDATs. I like to create my own, but maybe these would be simplistic. Who knows? PS Vita, Mini, Theme, Wallpaper, Avatar, Videos, PS4. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with this little app. It's a fantastic app. It's gotten me to get games that I really like. So when I go to All and I, I really enjoy the X-Men Arcade, uh, here it is. And then we can also go, you know, I, I got that one. Another one I wanted to show people was get the TMNT Turtles in Time reshelled. They did a fantastic job with the recreation of this arcade game. Um, it's basically Turtles in Time, but with new graphics. It, it's really well done. Uh, my youngest son and I played it all the way through. And they, they did a fantastic job. We just... Even though it's old, I think it's 2010 or 2011 or something like that, um, we just experienced it for the first time recently and, and had, a, had a blast playing it. So there's also The Simpsons on here, a whole bunch of stuff, the Mortal Kombat arcade collection. I can go on and on. But anyway, I really do hope this video helps a lot of people to easily get some of the games that they would like to get for RPCS3. Um, if you have any more questions, I can do future videos. If you want me to do more tutorials on certain aspects of this or even RPCS3 as an emulator. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.